Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to be sharing with you what's been making me happy, what's kind of not so much been making me happy. Uh, winners of my last giveaway, I have three $100 winners to announce, and of course, some like follow-up and chit-chat, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I was kind of late to the game on checking out one quince, but I love cashmere line gloves and I love leather gloves and I've had some for oh as long as I've been an adult I've always had it and I'm really good about not losing them my very favorite pair I got about 30 years ago and I wore them for probably 20 years and then the cashmere kind of got worn out and I keep them in my car I mean they 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 were past their prime but I've got them in my glove box well, I ordered these and I'm thrilled with them. I don't know if they're in stock. I'll look and I, I'll see, but they are kid leather gloves and they are lined with cashmere. And here is the lining and they just feel so good and they're very warm. I've checked out all the stitching and to me, I mean, the quality looks excellent. I just took these off so I could show them to you, but these made me very, very happy. And I only have one pair and that's okay because they're special and they're cashmere socks. Somebody bought me some cashmere socks years ago. I saw these and I think they were $28 and I ordered them and I love them. I wash them and I, I just let them hang to dry. I think, I think they're 87% cashmere, 12% polyester and 1% elastic, and I just love the way they feel. So I was very happy to get those, and a heads up, I don't know if they're gonna have any sales. Of course, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I bought anything I mention, I buy, unless I tell you differently, because I just prefer to buy my own things. That's just kind of how I roll. But these two things really made me happy. I was glad about the quality. I would not hesitate if I wanted to buy sweaters from there or anything else, I thought if I can check out the quality of the socks and the gloves, that'll tell me all I need to know. And the next item was in a box of several things that were somebody's very favorite things. And the note on here, before I go on, it's called Buff City Soap, and the scent is Narcissist. The note says, not sure if you've ever used this laundry detergent before, but this is my detergent splurge. I save mine for towels and sheets. It's also my favorite scent. Well, I've used it four times, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. And again, it is a splurge. So what I wash with, these, with this are things like that I wear for a day, through the day, and they just smell so good. Even hanging in my closet, when I walk by, I get a whiff of it. It just makes me happy. I will, I know I'll purchase these for gifts. I probably would at some point repurchase it for myself. Uh, why not? But I do like to have things that are just special. I don't have to have the best all the time. I just want it occasionally, just when I kind of need a little bit extra. And I do have some makeup I bought that I really like, and it's by Merit. And this is what I'm wearing today. This is social, and I have that. I just put that all over my lid. And after I had just blended it with my finger, I used the next one, and it is called Nelson, and it's very dark. I just used this little tiny brush from BK Beauty and just went over my above my lashes, which I usually don't do, and made a little wing. And I've used this several times, this combination, and I really like it. I also, any cream eyeliner that's lighter in color, this one just happens to be from Charlotte Tilbury, and I put it right on the inner corner. I do like it. It's a very easy, quick, natural look. Not That's not too heavy. One thing you need to know about these, when you, turn, when you close them, you wanna close them till they click and it's clicked. So when you open it, it's a little bit different. You have to kind of work it open. I would imagine it helps keep it from drying out. I just always had the habit of any time it is a cream product, I turn it upside down, and it's the only time I don't have to put on an eyeshadow primer uh, is when I use a cream eyeshadow, but these are excellent. 
on my lips, I'm wearing what is called Fashion by Merit, and I bought I bought this, oh, probably about a year ago. I do like their lipsticks, too. And so when I ordered the eyeshadow, I bought Cheeky, and there's Cheeky, and I think it's beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I just, you can either put it on your cheeks, or what I just did, I just put my brush in it, and dabbed it and put it on my cheeks and it it does look I think it looks really good it doesn't have any shimmer to my eyes I couldn't see any but it does kind of give a nice little glow I do like the it cosmetics uh, confidence in a serum I have this and I have the clear and I enjoy them they feel good they last a long time the nice clear one I think is in my car because I keep it in my little area but they're $26. That is the only thing I don't like about them. I have spent more than $26 for something for my lips. But I will I would look for these when they're on sale. But they're really nice. And I like them. I've been so happy with all the built puffs that I have purchased. I haven't gotten any samples lately. But I ordered one, a milk chocolate puff. I haven't gotten it in yet. They do, I want to let you know they do have them on Amazon. I don't know if they're as fresh as ordering from the website, but I still have a 10% discount code, and uh, I can put a link to Amazon. But my favorite, this is a cinnamon roll, which I, I love, and I love the white. It's peanut butter, and it's covered in white chocolate. And these just are, for me, they're healthy. I know they're not a whole food. I know that, but it's a lot better for me to grab this and a candy bar, especially when this has like 17 grams of protein. I still like the bars, but I'll tell you, once they start making the puffs, I just have to make myself eat a built bar occasionally because they're not going to go to waste. I have them in my freezer, so I know they'll keep a long time. But I'm glad they're available other places. I've heard some of you say you've met, you've seen them in Sam's or Costco. Speaking of Sam's and Costco, at one time I told you about Walmart Mart Plus. I got it for a month and I canceled it because one of the perks I liked about it, I think it was $89 a year. You can get free shipping and handling on anything from Walmart and they deliver groceries. And I had said that if they ever start delivering groceries at the Walmart that's closest to me, I was gonna resubscribe. Well, as soon as it became available in the Walmart, that's 10 miles from me, exactly. <laughs> it's exactly 10 miles. I called the store and I asked them what radius they were gonna be serving and they said a 10 mile radius. So I think the street one block up is where it stops, but they are delivering groceries. I love that. It's been very handy. They put it on a glider I have out back and it's covered and, and they always separate frozen and cold and canned. I ask them to do that. So if I don't want, if I want to leave something out there for a while, I can until it's, it's uh, nice out. Also, I get Paramount Plus. And I'll tell you something that really shocked me. I needed something from Walmart, and it was something that was like $6. And I put it in my cart, and I really needed it rather quickly. And so I looked at my, my cart to make sure I'd put it in, and it said free shipping. I couldn't believe it. I, won't, I don't do that. I don't just order one thing, but I needed that one thing. And like a $6 item was sent to me free shipping and I got it the next day. So that made me happy. We I live in Southern Illinois, it's a rural area. So, I mean, we don't have any major cities. St. Louis, Missouri is the closest and it's two and a half hours from here, three hours, something like that. So a lot of times things are slower in our area. Okay, don't judge me, please don't judge me. I have judged myself enough. I went to the eye doctor. I had not been in over three years. I was due to go when the pandemic started, and so all that, I did not go. I, It's just something that we had so many other appointments, I just kept putting off. I knew my eyes felt good. I knew that my vision was good, I, you know, but you need to be checked for cataract. 
and I have no symptoms of dry eye. I don't even use any eye drops. So I, I wasn't, I was concerned, but I wasn't worried, but I went. My eyes are exactly like they were. I don't have any cataracts yet. Absolutely no dry eye. And I was a little concerned because I use Retin-A. I don't put it up underneath here, but I do pat it up on my cheekbones and I take it down to my eyebrow. And that's one of the side effects. So he said, boy, you're doing good being 70 and not even needing eye drops. So I was very happy. And, I, and in the future, I'm going to do better. My vision was the same. It was absolutely a wonderful appointment. And I thank God for that because uh, it could have been different. So don't do as I did. You do as I say. <laughs> When I give gifts, so I I don't I used to be somebody who wrapped the presents and you know, I mean really took a lot of time and had beautiful packages and I really felt like that was just a waste. I mean I did. I, I and then so then I started buying nice reusable bags. Well, I saw something on Walmart that I wanted. I had a gift that was a piece of jewelry that was in a box, a small box, and I thought, well, I'm going to order that. I'm going to see what I think of it. I, in fact, I ordered from two different companies. You know how on Amazon prices change. I'll put in what I paid for it. And they're these kind of a pouch. And they're really good, and they work. What I thought was real funny, they even described it as lambskin. Leather, lambskin, uh, leather this, leather that. Well, they're all, I knew they couldn't be because the price was very reasonable. And I gave my gift and gave them one of these, so they have a gift, and then they have something to use. And I will also use these. I have, well, I have five of them left, and I will just put them in, in a drawer I'll use a couple of them, and then I'll have something if I have a small gift to give. And on that same note, these are my things that are kind of in the middle. And they're not bad. They're not good. This is a gift bag, and it's very nice. And all you have to do is do like this. You put your gift in there. It has a fold right here so it can get larger. I think you know what I'm talking about. I should have shown you one that had something in it. And you just tie a bow. And whoever you give the present to, they can reuse it because they look perfect even after you've used them. Well, I ordered it from QVC and it read it was a 10 count and I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't cheap. Well, it wasn't a 10 count bag. They counted the little cards that you can put through here. So I, I really like them, but I was disappointed. I kind of felt misled, you know, when I should have read, it was my fault. Great bags, but and great quality, but anyway, they're just kind of my so-so. And then the other product that was just so-so is the it's by Avan. It's a Sycophate Restorative Lip Cream, and it's just okay. I mean, it's not bad. I used it quite a few nights. I really couldn't tell any difference than if I put a lip gloss on. I keep my lips in good shape. I always have something on. I always have something in my pocket. So I don't know if maybe if my lips were in bad shape that they would it would have helped, but I wouldn't repurchase. Yeah. I did have some questions about my pacemaker and my Omnilux mask and my Eye Restore hair helmet that I'm still trying that I still don't know what I'm if I'm going to keep it or not. I bought both of those. I sent the specifications to my electrophysiologist prior to having my pacemaker implanted, and he was fine with both of them. He had told me in the past, don't use anything with microcurrents. I had atrial fibrillation for probably 10 plus years, so I don't use radio frequency or microcurrents. LED lights are fine for me, but you know, you make sure you ask your doctor, but I, I had him look it over real well and, and it was fine. There has been a glitch in YouTube and it's not just me. Tamara from Tamara's Timeless Beauty. It's been happening to her. And if you don't watch her, you need to. I'm going to link her channel below. She does excellent, thorough reviews. And she's just, I think, the world of her. She hasn't steered me wrong in anything. My comments disappear. They, it was awful on Sunday. I had to keep going in. I never have my comments turned off. I had them turned off in one video. And that was probably about eight years ago. 
So it's just default. It's just set that my comments are always turned on. And I don't know why they're supposed to get back to me. I always close my giveaways the Wednesday after the video goes up. And what I do is I go in and I just load the U URL into Random Comment Picker. Well, there weren't any comments. So I got on chat with somebody. I went ahead and I turned them on. And I did get them back on and I was able to load them into Random Comment Picker and then pick a winner. But then I, no I notified YouTube that something's going on. They said they'd look into it, but I've had to check back and forth, but all like the comments are gone. So if that ever happens, it's, it's per video. So if you ever see where there's no comments, if you don't care, let me know. Go to another video and say your comments are turned off on, you know, a recent video. Or anybody, I'm sure anybody would appreciate that. But that's really frustrating, especially if you're having a giveaway. So I'm sorry if somebody didn't get entered. I think there were like 283 entries, and I will give you the winners. And I will put up what they had to say. The word was glow. I wanted to use just use the word glow in a sentence. Each of you will be winning a $100 e-gift card or $100 into your PayPal account. And the first name that came up was Donna Thomason, 230. The next name is, don't you know, 8591. And the next name was Cindy K, 8743. I wanna congratulate Donna, don't you know, and Cindy, and make sure you leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me so we can take care of what what you want. I thought I'd leave this to the end because the people that stay to the very end are interested. Jim did go to the doctor. He got some options. The number one option was surgery. Jim has a lot to think about before he decides if he wants surgery. Right now, his, he is in not much pain when he's sitting or when he's lying down. It is when he's getting around. We have a lot of things we're looking into for the house, things that, that will make things easier. He has some other options, and I just told him whatever he decided, I would be supportive, period. But I do thank you for your prayers and your good vibes. Uh, we all need them. We do. We do. But it is all good. God in my life. It is all good. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. And an item I did not like. I don't have any more. And uh, again, but it does help. But yesterday I went to when it's convenient for me. I get the... It had... And it said... You know, this is my sit and and made me very, very happy.